What's up, you guys? My name is Swati, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Where if the book is nice, we read it twice. Today, I'm bringing you a taste test once again. It's a sit-down, chatty kind of a video. I have my trusty laptop over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna listen to seven audio books which fall under the thriller and horror category. These are one of the latest, one of the buzziest books come out recently. or they are something that i wanted to read so now i will read the synopsis of each book then listen to the first chapter and give it a rating after giving it a rating i'll select one final book that i want to finish today So let's start. So the first book is Ghost Nineteen by Simone Saint Jean. I'll read you the synopsis. A woman moves to a town where she becomes obsessed with watching the lives of her neighbors. While stuck in a house that refuses to let her leave, in the first ever short story from the New York Times bestseller author, The Book of Cold Cases. Now this is a very short book. It is eighty pages, which might work for it because. Generally, I like horror in short doses. Now, the story is about Gina Cox, who is struggling from something which is not very clear in the synopsis. So, I think it will be a reveal in the book. And she has been asked to go to a house and live there without going outside. So, she is looking at her neighbors now and trying to form stories about them in in her head. After sometimes she realizes, is it her madness or is it some kind of ghost that that's keeping her within the house? Also, she now suspects a murder. The synopsis is very short, very basic synopsis of a horror story. Since it is just eighty pages, I'll go and read one chapter or just ten minutes of audio book so that I don't spoil myself too much. <laughs> listen to the first chapter which was only 4 minutes first thing is this some seems like since, since the chapter heading was new york 1959 it seems like it is set in older time period which is currently serving as the now of the story the first chapter was a sudden reveal that a lady was being haunted by something in her cellar and she was uh, she was afraid and she had a knife in her hand trying to protect herself suddenly a man came into the room she knows this man and then she tried to in the last sentence of the chapter she tried to convince him that there was something in the cellar that was haunting her there was really somebody there and the man this time for the first time agreed with her and then he asked her to tell the whole story now from the next chapter i the title is then so i am assuming she will be narrating him to him what has happened it's a general time jump sort of a story which we have seen before multiple times in thriller and horror genre and i think i like it i will give it 3 stars so the next book is called venko by cherry demeline it is a witchy story which i like absolutely basically venko is a company fueled by vast resources of dark money and they are working towards bringing all the women together women together to rightful power lucky saint james discovers the magic spoon in her house with salem written on it and a witch drawn on it myrana has been tasked to find lucky and together they are trying to bring these seven spoons together to form a alliance a very powerful adversary is talking them this adversary is named he is jay christos a roguish and deadly witch hunter as old as witchcraft itself so this sounds like a very witchy story and sounds very interesting I just finished 
the first chapter of Venko. It was 11 minutes long and 11 minutes of sheer ecstasy. I loved the writing style and basically it was just introducing the scenario which we already know that is an elderly witch is talking to a younger witch trying making her understand the fact that with every spoon the time has become half of what it was before as a office front for witches who are trying to find their seven spoon holders who would bring them back to the power none of this is actually said but what has been said is that every time they found a witch the time was hard for the next witch to they had a time for seven years to search for them but now it has gone down to years and then two months now they are on their witch number six and they have very little time left to actually find her as we know from the synopsis that they are going to find her and her story start in the next chapter i think this will this won't be horror as horror we know it, as the horror we know but more of a drama around witchcraft and witch hunting and i think i would love to read this book maybe not for this tag but in general i love witchy books and this sounds like a interesting i will give it a solid four and a half star so next book is any man by ember tamlin it's another short horror novella of 288 pages so let's see so any man is basically a short horror novella deals with very important topics basically this is a story about a woman a serial female rapist who preys on men this this violent serial rapist is on the loose who is, goes by the name of Maud and she doesn't care about what kind of men she picks she picks any man hence the name and the story is just about the feeling of shame and alienation from friends and family for these victims uh, how police officers don't listen to them it, it, it is i think it will be a feminist story because the table has been turned in this situation and i don't know what to expect but i think this is going to be very good Gabby Reads recommended this and she really liked it. So let's get out, get into the chapter. So I just finished the first chapter of Any Man and it was one of the most difficult chapters I have heard in my life. Stylized in such a way basically what is happening is a guy is answering police questions and we just hear his answers later on we realize that these questions are standard procedure asks for somebody who has been raped so basically this guy has been raped and the thoughts going around his heads are something like whether if he was guilty or not in the whole situation or how will he face his children how will he face his wife and it became even more difficult when after his perspective we heard the questions coming from the officer which which were kind of ridiculing him and asking whether they was his fault because there is no such thing as male rape right uh, it is ridiculous that people think like that and it is ridiculous to hear it out it was heartbreaking to hear it out from somebody basically this was how the book was designed to make you feel uncomfortable to make you feel terrorized this was an actual horror though not horror in the traditional sense of the word but this was actually horror so i think i like it a lot i'll give it five stars so the next book is a history of fear by luke dumas Grayson hill was the most infamous murderer in scotland uh he is better known as from a different name named, uh, named 
from a different name, the Devil's Advocate. The 25-year-old American grad student rose to instant notoriety when he confessed to the slaughter of his classmate Liam Stewart and claimed that devil made him do it. After him being imprisoned, he was found hanging in his cell and he had written a manuscript which promised to answer the questions whether he was raving lunatic or was he possessed by the devil? Well, was he be telling the truth all along? And I am very interested in it. So let's get into the first chapter. So I just finally finished the first chapter, which is very artistically named Editors Forward. It tells us exactly what was what was told to us in the synopsis. It introduces Devil's Advocate to us. How this 25-year-old grad student killed his classmate and was this, and he proclaimed that devil made him do it he was put into a cell where he committed supposedly where he committed suicide but a manuscript was left behind him telling his side of the story so i searched i googled it and i found out that this is a complete work of fiction that being said this reads so much like true crime that i had to actually search or google it whether this is a true crime or not and it is not a true story this is a fiction which kind of disillusioned me and now i think this will be a four star thanks so the next book is a small affair a seesaw of rising tension that ultimates deliver a rock crashing conclusion an intensely emotional psychological roller coaster Basically, this is a story about a young woman who gets, who has an affair with the married man, and when her life was topsy turvy, when her ex boyfriend is found dead along with his wife, so she is declared as good as a murderer in this situation, and after moping and and grieving for one year she finally goes out and try to figure out what actually happened sounds like a very pretty basic drama until or unless there are twists in the story let's see if we like the writing this is from flora collins a small affair so this chapter goes on to introduce our main character and her best friend who is helping her to swipe like on a dating app the style of her narration tells us that she is going to reliving her past and she is telling somebody the story of what happened and basically this is about how she first noticed quinn and how they started a banter as soon as they swiped like for each other and that's the beginning of her affair so this is very pretty standard and i am little bit sad to find out that we got almost a huge part of the story already in the syn- synopsis since it is starting from the beginning of their affair we know that at least till 50% of the book you will not get the deaths and and the twists and turns of what the actual story the meat of the story is going to be all about so don't feel like dredging through the part of the story which has already been said in the synopsis so i think i'll give it a f- two star so the next one is everyone in my family has killed someone by benjamin stevenson uh this is one with the very interesting name and it seems like it will be a series So let's get into the synopsis. What it says is, I'll read it out for you. What it says is, I'm Ernest Cunningham. Call me Ernie. I wish I killed whoever decided a family reunion should be in a ski resort, but it is little more complicated than that. Have I killed someone? Yes, I have. Who was it? Let's get started. Everybody in my family has killed someone. My brother, my step sister, my wife, my father, my mother, my sister in law, my uncle, my step father, my aunt. me and that's it so what i can think from this is ski resort a close circle mystery and 
a family reunion means all members of the same family it is giving me knife out vibes but let's see what it is all about breaking the fourth wall the person the protagonist ernie is talking to us about how he is writing a book and telling and letting it be his tell all where there are murders in the book throughout uh, he actually said that he will give us no surprises there is a death on chapter 5 and chapter 7 and blah 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 different numbers he also pointed out that there is no sex scene in the book and you will enjoy it and uh, be, gen- just like the synopsis he is pointed out that everybody in his family has killed someone and that he has also so now let's get into the story i mean he is saying that now let's get into the story so this is very interesting i have never read something written in this style also the audio book was very conducive to the style of writing because somebody is saying these words so it feels like somebody is actually saying these words to me i think i'll give it a 4.5 star the next one is from Grady Hendrix he is a booktube darling and the book is called how to sell a haunted house i have never heard such a interesting title of a book and this might be a instant purchase without even looking at the synopsis but let's go into it and find out so the synopsis is simple enough um louise finds out that her parents died and now she is trying to sell off their ancestral home this ha- the house needs lot more than just paint and her bumbling brother who goes from one job to another and he actually resents her for being successful wants to take her help and together they want to sell this house but as it is mentioned in the synopsis the house doesn't want to be sold and so this giving a ominous shade to things where you know it is a haunted house story and i would love dairy hendrix try this so in this first chapter uh, basically we are introduced to louise while she is letting her parents know that she is pregnant quickly her parents has been established like the loving and caring supportive parents that was introduced in the synopsis her absence of her brother is also explained in very simple terms about by letting us know his past where he screwed up a lot and there is tension between her and her uh, louis and her brother mark so it just laid out the cards for us we know there'll be death in the family from the synopsis that's the beginning of the premise and we are easily we are easily put into the family dynamics i think it is very well written and i would love to read this one as well this would be my first grady hendrix and i would love to read grady hendrix because he is a booktube darling i give this 3 stars and the now for my final rating there are two four and a half stars and one five stars out of which venko sounds like a more drama witchy kind of a book not a thriller or uh, or horror so it is between any man and has everyone in my family has killed someone i'll go with any man because i think it it has important discussions in it as well as it it's a short book which absolutely terrorized me when i read it so because of how uncomfortable it is so i think i'll go with any man so i've just finished any man my thriller horror taste test winner of the book i selected i read seven books and then i selected one i have just finished the book today and i have to say it is the most difficult book i have ever read i give it 5 stars what i gave it for after reading the first chapter so this book has been stellar from the first chapter this book is very difficult it's about 
a serial rapist who is a female who preys on men so this story basically revolves between five men and how their life was altered because of this female uh there are, this book is talks about gender it switches the gender roles it is very feminist if you understand the context if you read between the lines also without spoilers it is very hard to say but the way it plays with the timeline and the way it plays with and the way it plays between perspectives different perspectives it is stylistically very interestingly written and which can even makes the uncomfortable feeling that the book has even more visceral you don't only hear what happens to these victims from their perspective you also hear what shouldn't be happening with them or what society generally makes these victims feel i would not say a must read for everybody because it has a lot of trigger warning please check up on the internet before you go into it but it is one of the best written book that i'll remember for a very long time so that's my review we go no down below some books you want to get to this month like and subscribe if you like what i do over here i will see you in another video soon thanks